We're going to be uh, changing the air filter on the M2. It hasn't been done since we've had it, but we haven't had it very long. Uh, I don't know when it was done, so we're going to start off. I think we got a there's a clip under this brace, so we're going to have to pop that off. And that is a 13 mil socket, which is not a 12, is it? Nope, it's a 13. So it's a 13 mil socket, and we'll undo the four bolts here. Might even just have to loosen it and see how much we have to take off. in very tight that's for sure so easy to remove yeah we're gonna have to take the whole thing off so we're just going to use a replacement standard air filter but uh, you know you could always use a high flow filter k and something like that but the K&Ns, remember, they're, they're oiled, so sometimes they give you a mass airflow issue. So, there we go. With that removed, you can access that clip. Okay, let's pop those clips. Come on here. One here. Come on over, have a look at this one. This one's a little bit further down. One there. And then one down here, so you already... Yeah popped off. I'd now pop I don't off. think we have to unclip this but to do that you just got to push down on a little tab and, uh, remo and remove it. But we shouldn't have to. No, not at all. We lift it up. Have a look. There's a few dead bugs. It's a little bit dirty but there's only uh, 15,000 kilometers on this car but I didn't know who you know what kind of conditions it was driven in before so that's all right we're going to change it over anyway so we'll grab the fresh one out and uh now if you want to search the parts there you go and that's the bmw one but we'll see what we got replacement Look, this new one replacement air filter i'll put the parts in a link in the description uh now important thing is orientation it's a rectangle not a square and there's a rubber seal so that's going to fit in a groove this groove here that rubber seal will just clamp up nice and firm on it. So I don't think there's anything we can remove in here, like snorkels or anything like we did on the Audi. There's a little red kind of, uh, little red kind of air channeling intake thingy, but nothing major. And there's not a lot of real dirt. If there's dirt in your air box, um, by all means, give it a vacuum and clean it out. This is pretty good. So that's a nice clean fit. We're just gonna just pat it down and we'll, realign the lid and we'll go the opposite of what we did so we'll start on that clip down below clip clip and they just push on so you just push on the side and they should just pop up and over now that's back on we can do the face and then just get these started finger tight so they don't uh, cross thread now there's different length ones and you're gonna have to use the longer bolt on this one for this the uh, further down all the others get a short get the short one everything off a little bit and as usual cut myself so we're just gonna loosen these off a little bit so they can have a little wiggle room to line up once they're all in then we can and we can tighten them up. I'm 
and bleeding on everything. Yeah, and on the boat. Oh. That's right. That's my car. I can bleed on it if I want to. All right, we're just going to crank these down kind of like they were to undo. Just They were just stuck, but they weren't super tight. I'll see if I can find the torque spec, put it on the screen, but I got a feeling that they're just uh, gluten tight. That's it. They're tight. That's it. Air filter done. That's a, a couple minute job that'll save you. That would be a I'd say that's over at well over a hundred bucks to get that done in the dealer as part yeah. of the service. Mm -hmm. So uh, done in minutes, and we did it. We didn't even do it in the garage because uh, we're doing some work on the house. We just did it out here in the road. Just going to check the tightness of these. Oh, these are going to tighten a little. Get a few turns on each of those. Done. That one. Uh, Ready for the bin, but yeah, I'll put the part numbers on the screen. I'll put the part number for the original. I'll put the part number for the one we used, and uh, and there you go. That's uh, air filter on an M2 with the N55. So this will be the N55 for whatever other engines, uh, whatever other cars they're in. Um, it'll be the same for those as well. So there you go, done.